Hey guys, in today's video, let's create a cute cartoon uh, fish character. And this could be used as a game character, or maybe you want to create a short film and uh, use it for that. So uh, to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Lightbox and I'm just going to grab this Dynawax 128. I'm going to press comma on my keyboard to close my Lightbox. If I go into materials, I just have this basic material currently set up. And I am going to turn on my active symmetry by pressing X. And if you keep an eye on this uh, guy right here, it's going to show you which way your sphere is facing. So that's uh, super important, right? So to get started, uh, let's just first decide on the shape of our fish. So it could be as simple as let's just grab a move and just simply squish it down uh, to be something like this. So we're going to start from uh, this shape right here. I think that uh, works well. If we wanted to, we can always uh, start on the, uh, let's start on the eyes. So to start on the eyes, I'm gonna do something really simple. Just grab a standard, switch it to sub, sub to push uh, surface in. And again, uh, make sure that symmetry is on. And I'm just gonna start pressing in the uh, eye socket of where I want the eyes to be. Now keep an, keep an eye on your uh, resolution, right? It's 128, so that's uh, that's important. If we want to add a little volume right here, we can just simply either switch it to add by pressing this button, or you can hold, hold on the Alt key and just kind of raise it that way, right? We can make it a little larger and just raise it. If you want to um, have a little more control, you can always dial down the Z intensity so maybe to like 15 and then holding down the old key you can see how it's very smoothly or very carefully adds more volume uh, to your mesh right so let's uh, build up a little volume so we have a little uh, cheeks going on right there very nice uh, holding down the shift key i can smooth any of this and make it uh, super smooth if i wanted to i can also also uh, hold on control and drag to redyne the mesh and you can see what that looks like, right? Uh, let's just keep doing uh, shift. And I am gonna uh, switch it back to, you know, let me just press this a little more, right? So I'm just gonna make these a little more uh, definitive, right? All right, really cool, so that works. Uh, next, let's go ahead and insert our um, spheres. But if we wanted to, we can also grab something like the move and maybe this bridge right here should be uh, a little bit smaller, right? So we have more of a flat face. So let's just maybe also decide on kind of the general shape of the face, right? So I'm gonna make sure that I have kind of a, you know, it's not a skull or anything, but you do wanna make sure that um, there's some kind of shape in addition to just being a simple um, sphere, right? Something a little more interesting. So maybe, maybe the face of it could be a little bit flatter, uh, the top we can flatten that as well and you can see my brush is ginormous so it's doing very big strokes I can almost uh, turn it more of a click like a round box so I can push this in as well and maybe press the button uh, the bottom in as well right so then it's gonna be more of a belly so now we have something really interesting all right let's do control and drag to redynamesh very nice maybe do a little smooth and at this point, if you wanted to, you could increase the resolution, uh, maybe just like 256, just just so we have a little more control. If I read Dynamesh, you can see the points went from 26,000 to 104,000, right? Now, if you pr hold on the shift key and smooth, uh, it's gonna retain the shape a little bit better. It's not gonna uh, smush it too much, right? All right, really cool. Next, let's do a mouth, right? So for the mouth, uh, I'm gonna jump out of the perspective view. I'm gonna ho uh, hold on the uh, shift key and snap into my side view, so I'm perfectly straight. Then I'm gonna do control and shift, jump into my quick pick here. And while holding down the control and shift the entire time, I can grab something like, uh, let's go ahead and grab the uh, curve, knife curve. So I'm gonna do that and let's, create a mouth from the side view. So holding down control and shift, I can start dragging. You can see that the gradient is on top of the line is gonna be the portion uh, that will be cut out. Holding down the space bar and holding control and shift at the same time, I can move this around. 
maybe put it into position. And let's say I want my mouth to be somewhere around here, right? Now I want a sharp um, angle right here. So I'm gonna double tap my Alt key to create a, uh, a sharp angle. And then I'm just gonna simply drag this up and let's decide on the size of our mouth, maybe something like this, I'm just gonna release. And voila, very quickly you have something really interesting and very definitive, right? Uh, very cool. Let's do control and drag to redynamesh and because we are in 256, it's kind of holding our shape and it's not distorting it too much, right? We can uh, maybe smooth this just a little bit. And I see a little issue there, there's like a little hole. Uh, if that ever happens, you know, when you're working with clay and ZBrush, just simply redynamesh and that will kind of sort itself out. Very cool. All right, let's go ahead and uh, add the eyeballs. So to do that, I'm gonna go to Subtool. I'm gonna say Insert. I'm gonna grab a sphere, right? I'm gonna turn on transparency mode just so I can see the body. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I'm in the right uh, layer. And let's just grab something like the move and simply scale this down and scale the eye to the size that we want. So something maybe along these lines, maybe uh, works, put it in position. And I do wanna take advantage of those, uh, let's turn this off now. Um, I wanna make sure that you can still see that nice uh, socket uh, sculpture that we did. So you don't want the eye to be too large where it's overtaking that, right? You wanna kind of um, maintain that beautiful uh, sculpt right there. And so the eye should kind of feel like it works, right? So something along these lines, I think is pretty cool. Uh, if I wanted to flip it to the other side, I can always mirror it. Then I can do mirror and weld, now I have two of them. The reason I have to mirror it first is because it's always gonna copy uh, left to right. So keep that in mind. If you're not sure where these buttons are, this one is in tool deformation. Uh, that's your mirror. And then your uh, mirror and weld is in uh, tool geometry, mirror and weld. So that's where these are located. All right, very cool. Um, let's see, let's next uh, maybe create the tail for our fish. So to do that, um, I'm just gonna simply holding down the shift key, switch, uh, snap it to the back. Let's switch to draw. Hold down the Alt key to select the body, right? You can select it by doing this, or you can just hold on the old key and just tap on the shape. And still, let's just use the standard for now. Um, it doesn't really matter, but you can uh, hold on the control key and that will switch to mask. All right, let's maybe make this a little smaller. Holding down the control key, I'm just gonna make a selection of the uh, tail, right? So I want my tail to be the back tail to be somewhere in this area right here. It doesn't need to be precise, but something like that works. If you wanted to make this skinnier, hold on Control and then Alt, and then you can kind of clean this up by just literally erasing. So maybe I want to erase uh, the top and the bottom to be a little sharper. And then I can come back here and just kind of make this a little bit darker and just keep going back and forth until you Kind of clean this up and get end up with the shape that you like let's say i like this right i'm going to switch back by holding the shift key switch it uh, snap it to the side now i'm just going to grab something like um i can grab the move brush and make it huge that's one way of doing it um, now if i hold on control and tap it's going to reverse the mask you can see what that looks like and now we can just simply take this and just pull this out right so that would be uh, one way of doing it. Another way, uh, if you didn't wanna use the ginormous move brush, uh, you could just simply switch it to move and just pull it out that way. It's essentially the same thing. I have a couple different options, right? Uh, very cool. Now, uh, what I would like to do is maybe shape this a little uh, more. So I'm gonna hold on Control and drag to get rid of my mask. I'll do Control and drag one more time to redynamesh the entire thing. Grab my move, make it a little smaller, and let's just start kind of maybe sculpting this uh, a little more. So we have more of a, a tail shape, right? So something like that should work. Um, I don't know why my Aki curve is on. I don't want that on. Now the Aki curve button is really cool. It's gonna allow you to 
create uh, or pull out sharp corners, right? So that's located in brush uh, curve, Aki curve. So you can see if I turn that on and I start dragging, for example, this piece here, it's going to create kind of a sharp um, pull, right? So that's kind of uh, important. Maybe I want to create, you know, something along these lines. I could do that. Hold on, control and drag to redynamish. Let's go ahead and smooth this out a little more so it's a little smoother, right? And that looks like a really cool uh, tail. If I want to work uh, on this a little more, maybe smooth this out, I can do that. All right, next, ne uh, next let's, um, before we add more detail to this and, and crank up the resolution, uh, let's just figure out if we like the, the large shapes first, right? So you, before you start adding more resolution and, and adding more detail, um, you want to make sure that you, you know, are happy with like the main big shapes. So let's say I'm happy with this tail, right? Uh, maybe, maybe this a little too much. So something like that. Um, I think we need uh, a couple of fins on the side as well. Let's do the same thing. I'm going to make sure my active symmetry is on and I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller holding down the control key I can just create a line so let's say I want my fin to be somewhere in this area do control and tap to reverse let's grab our move make it large and let's just pull out a fin right out of the, um, the side of the body right very nice do control uh, drag to get rid of the masking control drag one more time to redynamesh everything make our brush a little smaller let's go ahead and smooth this holding down the shift key all right and i'm just using the move what i can do is make my brush just a little bit smaller and just kind of maybe uh again jump out of the accu curve but uh kind of rework some of this right so maybe add just a little more shape to it so it looks a little more like a fin and i actually don't even mind these uh, i think that kind of works some of these lines that were created uh, somewhat on accident right very cool so now we have two fins we have the back uh, tail and let's do just one more right so maybe let's add one more on top again same thing holding down control I'm just gonna make a mask if I wanted to holding down the old key I can make this a little sharper all right grab my move do control and tap to reverse my masking and just pull this up and maybe I want my fin to be something a little more interesting so it kind of goes back a little more control drag grab my move and Let's start shaping this as well. So maybe we have something like this. All right, very cool. I'm gonna re mesh and smooth this out as well. All right, very nice. So now we have this kind of a basic shape for our fish. Uh, next, let's start adding a little more uh, detail. And for that, um, I'm going to switch this to 512. Press enter and uh, do control and drag. And now you can see it, it switched to 538,000 active points, right? So there's a little more geometry. If you turn on uh, shift F or just click on this button, you can see that it's a lot more dense and there's more uh, geo for us to play with, right? So this is nice because now we can start adding a little more detail. And if, if, you, if you wanted to, you can even crank this up even more. But I'm gonna start it, uh, start it by staying at 512. I'm gonna grab my Damien standard. And now what I would like to do is I'm gonna turn on my lazy mouse and that's located in strokes, lazy mouse. And let's just switch it to something like 10 and let's just start kind of drawing some of the detail that we might want on our tail. Active symmetry is on, so I know it's going to be doing it on both sides. And maybe I can just create kind of an interesting flow, uh, line flow, right? So maybe I can go from here to here 
and honestly I want my lines to be a little smoother so I'm going to do something like that. Very cool. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here. And maybe do one more here as well. All right, so I think that uh, looks really cool. Let's do the same thing on the top. On the top, I'm just gonna do maybe something along these lines where you have the bottom right there and then you kind of have a little bit of a thickness uh, on the very top. I think that works. Uh, another thing we could do is maybe add a couple lines here, right? We could do that. Now, uh, if you wanna do a straight line, check this out, you can click, hold down the shift key, just create a line and then just release. So click, shift, drag, release. In your mesh, right? And you can smooth this out. So now we have something really interesting. All right, let's maybe add some detail on this as well, right? So I'm gonna do the same thing, maybe do something like that and add a couple lines. Just some kind of a fun exotic fish. We could do the same thing here. All right, very cool. Uh, let's see, let's also uh, add a little more shape to the face. So to do that, what I would like to do, I'm gonna grab my inflate this time. Let's just inflate these uh, brows a little more. So it's maybe it's a little more expressive. So, and you know, maybe it's a little uh, sad as well. So we can, we can even build a little more volume here as well. Hold down the shift key, smooth this out. I can also grab something like the uh, pinch and maybe we want to uh, make it a little more stylized and interesting right, right here. So we can pinch this whole area here and the same thing here. All right. I can do uh, control and drag to redyne the mesh, smooth, smooth out anything that's kind of wobbly. And very quickly you start creating something super interesting. We can go into perspective view and check this out. We can do a quick BPR, see if we're happy with it. I think it looks really cool. Now, um, what would be uh, another thing you can do? So you can take this right now and do uh, Z remesher. You can even do UVs here using the, um, uh, you know, you can use the Z plugin UV master to, to create the UVs. But um, one thing you could do is, um, you can do poly paint right here in ZBrush, and then you can use that poly paint to um, also export this out into something like the Substance Painter and uh, use it as your base when you're doing your textures. So just for fun, let's just maybe add a little um, paint to this. How do we do that? So I'm gonna start with the eyeballs. I'm gonna select the eyeballs, and uh, honestly, I think they should be just simply uh, white, right? So I'm gonna switch this to mRGB, uh, which means I'm gonna be using the color and material together. And now what I can do, I can make sure that it's set to white, go to my basic materials, and let's just pick something like uh, maybe plastic. I think that would be uh, good for the eyes, right? And I'm not using redshift, so that's fine. I'm just gonna use this. And now what I could do is I can do fill object. And now these eyes are filled with this material, RGB and material, right, on white. And I know that they're filled in because this little paint appears. So this brush is showing me that now this material and color is part of this mesh, right? Uh, very cool. Now the res for this, if I turn on my polyframe, is really low. So I can't successfully draw like a pupil because it's gonna be super low resolution. And I can show you. Uh, if I switch this to black, for example, try to ignore the, the body, right? But uh, let's turn our active symmetry on. And if I attempt to draw, um, let me switch to, I don't want to um, subtract anything. I want to add a color, just the color. 
So if I try, try to draw something, it's going to be, I guess it, it does work, but if you wanted to do a little more res, just do control D and just went to 65,000. And this is going to give you a little more uh, bang for your buck, a little higher res, right? Especially if you're doing textures. But now what I could do is I can switch to drag and switch to alpha and just simply drag something like that. And if I wanted to, I can also do this to make sure it's nice and sharp, right? Maybe I'm happy with that. And maybe I want my eye to be, you know, let's figure out what color. Maybe it's gonna be kind of this aqua color uh, eye. So we'll do something like that. Switch it back to black. Voila. And then maybe uh, let's add a little uh, white cartoon uh, effect to it. All right, let's switch back to the body and let's just same thing. Let's just start painting this. And I like this plastic as well because the fish is sort of, you know, somewhat wet. Uh, so let's switch this to maybe this color here. And uh, let's say I want this to be my base, right? I'm going to simply say fill. Again, a little paint appears. Now I know this is filled in, right? And uh, now what I could do is I can start painting other colors to uh, uh, on top of this, right? So to do that, I'm gonna switch this. Let's switch this back to dots. I'm gonna do alpha one, that's fine. And let me just choose something lighter, maybe like a lighter aqua color right here. And what I could do, I could just start painting this and you can see very quickly what that looks like, right? Uh, let me also sh put this back to zero. And if I turn my lazy mouse off, maybe I could do this a little faster. But I'm just gonna simply just go around and very quickly just kind of color this in. Do the same thing here. Maybe this part of the tail is a little bit lighter and just you know literally just have fun right just color this in very cool let's do one here all right i think that looks good let's do one uh here as well and the entire time my x symmetry is on so i know that i'm painting both sides hopefully so I'm gonna check that in a minute. And yes, everything looks good. Check the, the bottom. So keep that in mind. Uh, it's really important that you understand that you can use poly paint and, um, you know, in Substance Painter, you can do textures at the same time. And that's kind of a cool uh, trick. If we wanted to paint the, uh, the inside of the mouth, right? How do we do that? Uh, we could mask out something like do uh, control, go to uh, lasso, and we can just simply mask out part of the mouth that we want to paint. So, and then do control and drag to reverse it and then paint it. We could do it that way, but honestly, I don't really uh, mind because that's going to be kind of a shadowy part anyways. But just for fun, let's add a little more uh, design to this fish. So how do I sample this color? Let's say I don't want this color right here. I want this color. So if I just hover over this and press C, you can see that that gets sampled, which means now I can go down, make it a little darker if I wanted to. And let's switch this back to rectangular. And let's me, let me go back to uh, maybe this as well. And this time let's do a little add in addition to the color. And now, and maybe I can do a little more. And you can see what that's doing. That's actually raising the surface, right? And maybe we can do something even uh, more interesting. Maybe let's do something like that. So you have to decide if you want this raised or not, but you can see what that looks like, right? It's like raising these uh, out. And honestly, I can decide if I like that or not. I think I'm gonna go back to this one and do something like this again. It's a little bit tighter. And uh, let me just draw in. Yeah, I think this, this is what I was going for. So just add a couple cartoony 
uh, dots on the cheek just to make it a little more uh, interesting. All right, I think that's pretty cool. Another thing we can do is maybe make this part of the eye just a little bit darker as well. I can hide these eyes for a second and I can just do something like that. All right, so that's cool. All right, so now let's maybe add a little more design to the side here. So I'm gonna, uh, let's go into perspective view. And in our last video, we uh, used a brush called Scribe Standard. Let's use it in this situation as well, right? So um, in this situation, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that when I select Scribe Standard, I'm only gonna be in the RGB, so I'm not gonna be sculpting, right? So I have RGB on. Uh, my lazy mouse, I'm gonna switch it to like 14, and um, I have this darker green selected, right? So now I know if I also active symmetry is on. So now I know if I drag something like this along the surface, it's gonna give me this really cool line. All right, so uh, I like this. I'm gonna tap to kind of um, move into it. Now what I could do is I can make maybe another one back here. So a little closer to the tail, right? I'm gonna tap again to, con to um, kind of bake it in. All right, and let's do maybe one in the middle as well. All right, so we have three. Let's do something like this. Now I have three of them. All right, so now that uh, I think gives us enough interesting uh, detail. If you wanted to, you can do uh, more. We can hold, hover over this, press C. Let's go back into our standard. Um, I wanna make sure that I'm on dots. I'll do alpha one and I'm just an RGB. And maybe I want to make my uh, belly just to be a little bit lighter, right? So I could do that. I can also change the intensity of the RGB if I wanted to make it. And let's turn off lazy mouse. If I wanted to be uh, something like that. So he has a kind of a lighter belly. We can also smooth this as well. Holding down the shift key, I can smooth the actual RGB paint, which is really interesting, right? Very cool. All right, so now we have uh, this uh, fun little uh, fish. And uh, from this point on, of course, you can um, Z remesh it. You can um, create the uh, UVs and you can also um, export this paint to uh, Substance Painter. If someone wants to see how to do that, uh, let me know. But um, I think this is a good place to kind of stop uh, this video. All right, thanks again for uh, watching and I'll see you in the next one.